Hi guys, uh, Diana here. I'm back to talk a little bit about delivery with cryptic pregnancy. Um, there's a misconception I think a lot of people have that women that have the extended gestation cryptic pregnancies just never give birth and they're just pregnant forever. And that's not actually the case. The reason that you don't hear about the births is because there's such a bad stigma attached to cryptic pregnancy, especially with extended gestation, that women are afraid to tell their story. They're afraid to talk about it. Once their babies are born, they're just happy that it's finally over. And so they keep it to themselves because if they go around telling people, then they get called crazy and they get made fun of and they get hate. Um, so you're not gonna hear about it. Most women will just keep it to themselves. Um, there are four different ways that I know of that the birth will finally happen in cryptic pregnancy. Um, the first one is spontaneous birth, which I haven't personally met anyone who's had that happen, but you see it a lot um, in the show, I didn't know I was pregnant. <laughs> Those women are experiencing um, a similar kind of cryptic pregnancy, not necessarily with the extended gestation, and then they just suddenly give birth out of nowhere. The second way is, unfortunately, through miscarriage. I have known several women who have had miscarriages, and they were told that they weren't pregnant, they had negative ultrasound, they had negative HCG, and then suddenly, in their bathroom, they're giving birth to these tiny little babies that are too small to survive. And of course, those are just the worst because you've gone through so much to get to that point, and then to have it end like that is just devastating. Um, another way that babies come about with cryptic pregnancy, uh, especially in places like Africa where cryptic pregnancy is actually acknowledged, is through induction. Um, I have one friend who was measuring, her baby was about six pounds based on the midwife's palpitation of her belly at about a year pregnancy. But she never went into labor on her own. And she was pregnant for another year before she finally gave birth. Well, if we can get doctors to pay attention and actually treat cryptic pregnancy, she would have only been a couple months late. She would have had her baby at a year because the baby was big enough to survive. So induction is one of the ways that women get their babies. And then the last way is actually the most common one that I've seen in my groups um, where the pregnancy turns normal. Whatever the dysfunction is with the placenta or with the hormones in the body, it finally changes over and then the body starts producing HCG and then the ultrasound images get more clear and then you'll find out, oh, you know, you have a, say a four month sized fetus and from that point forward, the pregnancy then progresses normally. And you can tell that it's the cryptic pregnancy because when the woman gives birth, all of her pregnancy symptoms disappear. So then she's got her baby, her stomach goes down, all the symptoms go away, and then she's done. Those are the ways that I know of, based on my experience with about 100 different women. Um, there are several groups on Facebook that are just for women who are going through this type of pregnancy, and the one that I'm in, we have at least one birth a month. So, but it is happening. Eventually, we will give birth one way or another. So, just a little bit of information for you in case you're curious. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye. There she is. It'll be three years next month. And as you can see, there's no hiding this belly. <laughs>